with Shelly today um, so we wanted to do this video this morning um, and uh, talk about trans awareness week which is this week November 13th through the 19th and so we have called up this is a, a web page that um, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Defense something at GLAD put up and we've, our memory sometimes goes. <laughs> but uh, to start it off, this is brought to you by our sponsor, Esther Dial, and her friend, Spironolactone. <laughs> oh, we have to laugh because it's, uh, it's the world is crazy. Uh, anyway, um, so physically changes we sweat a lot last night and we woke up this morning to uh tom Nichol nichols nicholson nicholas tom nicholas talking about um george orwell and jordan b peterson and that is something that immediately perked up our ears and we thought about mental health and we thought about our own journey and we thought about uh the holidays and coming out and uh, being able to to have this wonderful gift um, and feeling guilty as well because um, of the people who haven't been able to experience this this feeling of alignment with their true identity and we've tried for a long time to get to work this out in our mind and um, due to our own circumstances growing up um, we were ignorant of uh, the science of gender and sexuality often and we had we have said things in a past life that about ha hating the, the sin but loving the sinner and and we never really deep down we don't think we, we really believe that right but um, our, our brain was trying to work out ways to uh, to uh, quiet our own internal issues and cults and people in positions of authority are very good at using those things to uh, turn people against other people and so we uh, we wanted to talk about this today that it is transgender awareness week and if you there's we wanted especially to point out something in this article that we're gonna um, we're gonna roll this up a little bit and see and this is one of the things that stuck out to us where they did a survey Yeah, this Pew poll, given that, according to the new Pew poll, 68% of Americans believe they've never personally met um, Yeah, we'll just, we'll kind of read this out and, and um, it's highlighted there. According to a new Pew poll, 68% of Americans believe they have never personally met someone who is transgender. That means the majority of the public's education and awareness about this community has been informed by more than a century's worth of media, which has overwhelmingly misrepresented and mischaracterized who trans people are. 
significantly influencing public perceptions, policy, and attitudes about the trans community. And this is um, something that we thought about, and, and just it's amazing that that's that is almost that seventy percent of the U.S. population um, believes that they have never met anyone personally. Now we have met several people personally, and they're wonderful people, uh, and we know that, and it shouldn't. Uh, be any kind of barrier to any kind of uh, life that they want to lead that's not harming other people. And that sounds so wrong uh, to say. It's, it's a very, but the po sort of the point that we wanted to make is that you do know people. You do know these people, but you just don't know them. And like if you had known us for most of our life, you would never have known that we were actually non-binary. And we sort of had our own I troubles dealing with that internally um, as, as we've been coming out over the last year, or well, since this summer officially, but over the last year. And uh, so, this week, we would just encourage you to educate yourself. Um, we had to educate ourselves about our own life and our own pr journey, and it has been a, a, an uphill battle at times, and there's always been uh, self-shame for the ways that we have acted in in the past not knowing or knowing better and just the being influenced to do to say the wrong thing or or whatever and um, we desperately wish that nobody has to go through um, that sort of internal torture no matter regardless of who they are um, because it can, it can get better. And often the reason you don't know that people are trans is because it's not really an issue. They're, that's not something that should be an issue if um, most of the time. And so in a way that's, they're probably, maybe they're good, they're happy about that, but maybe it, it causes them you know, more dysphoria. Who knows? Um, every person is different, just like every trans person is different. And um, so, yeah, we would encourage you. And we we like this movie. We haven't seen. We we think we haven't seen this movie, but we also think we have. The summer when we were experiencing dysphoria and and several other uh, related mental health issues and health issues. Um, we watched a lot of content. We um, consumed a ton of content related to gender and sexuality issues and talked to some very, very wise people who helped us um, to move into this, I, this area where we are now. Um, and so just I guess our day 43 update, yeah, so uh, Esther Dial and Esther Drew. The day 43 update is that we're um, we're a little bit emotional. We're, we're definitely emotional. We still uh, haven't really had a good cry. Um, but we think some of that is because we were in so much pain this summer, or leading up to this summer. We've been in so much pain over the last five years that uh, – our our pain ducts are burned over in a sense it's like inside we we feel um, deep emotions about most things but um, but when you're when your body is so 
engulfed in pain for such a long time and not getting um, the right kind of treatment for it um, it's going to take some time for those things to grow back and also it's going to take time for the hormones to work and, and everything and, but we really do um, we really do feel better and we feel better about our life and knowing that we're not a monster which that sounds horrible you know that's the kind of stuff like the media they talk about misrepresentations in the media and one of our one of the things that haunted us <coughs> um, in the movie or in all the <coughs> excuse, all of the um, the Hannibal Lecter type movies and material Buffalo Bill is in there and the thing that haunted us was that the way that Buffalo Bill was written and was portrayed in the movies the, their gender dysphoria and their desire to uh, transition is tied in and presented as it inextricably linked to their uh, to their criminal acts and we have s sat in our house dancing to music and dr dressing in women's clothes and if you didn't know us and you saw us through a window you would associate us with being like Buffalo Bill and that scared us to death and was it one of the things that prevented us a long time for, from uh, facing this dealing with this coming out and, and living more authentically and also the uh the uh, Wachowski uh, twins who wrote uh, The Matrix helped greatly over the summer when we were dealing with this as well where they talked about The Matrix as a an allegory of transitioning of, of uh, and it just made a lot of sense to us and it fit together which it never people use those pills in that movie so in so many twisted ways and uh, we even use it we call ourselves grill pilled um, that's another topic for another time but anyway um, yeah so it we're we're just thinking through all this stuff we're um, trying to remember where our keys are we finally got our our, our, um, our computer system in the in the living area set up We've got to clean. We still got so much to do to uh, to our house um, over the winter, and hopefully we can get some people to help with that. But um, and we want to make a trip to see our family over Christmas holidays. So uh, just a lot of stuff going on, and and that's not to say that we're the only people who have lots of stuff going on. Everyone's got lots of stuff going on, and um, so and yeah, that's. Was that even worth? Was this worth it? I don't know. It was. Uh, we. It was. Hopefully, it was worth it to someone. That this is. That you're not alone. You're not alone. And there's a great. There's great resources. We'll put some in the in the description, about for um, terminology, for uh, different treatments you can go to counseling. Uh, we don't know about you, but we need. We needed counseling uh, seriously going through this. Um, and it's not bad. It's, it's like being able to, to talk about things that you can't talk to, uh, to anyone else about, um, about who you were and who you're becoming. Um, and so if, you, if you're uh, struggling with any of those things, please, please, please contact someone, talk to someone. Um, and because you you have a you have something unique to contribute to the world, and don't let it go to waste. Um, you are loved. You are worthy. You are valid. Um, so hang in there. Um, yeah, and we'll conclude. We'll go ahead and wind it down 
for today. <laughs> um, now that we got our computer stuff set up, we're hoping to start um, streaming again. And because we have work to do, and we we're, we don't want to pop all over the world to do work. So anyway, um, cheers. Your little coffee for the morning. <laughs> we also we also have a l there's a lot going on in the world, and we want to talk about it, but we want to get these updates and stuff out um, because we do have friends um, and family members that will uh, will be interested in it as well. And we love all of you, all of our friends, all of our, our family that have been helping us through this, and uh, especially our new friends in the trans community and the Alphabet Mafia. And um, we'll talk to you later. Bye. And we'll play a little, a little music going out.